What up, y'all? You know what it is. That's right. It's Monday, Monday, Monday. We're back as usual every Monday. B-SideShow.net. Make sure you tell all your friends and your cousins and everybody to tune in. Yes, sir. We just had a bunch of people uh, filling us and vibing with us this Friday. We were at the Corrupt Show. That was a real good show at the Terrace <laughs> in Pasadena. That thing was jumping, dog. Did you hear my corrupt impression right there? Yeah, was that it? I don't know. I tried. I Anyways, don't, I don't know what that was. <laughs> you know when he does a little screech? Come I, on, bro. I thought he let one slip by or something, ah. man. I thought he pooted. Hey, check, <laughs> check, check this out, man. Like we do every Monday, man. My name's Rabbit. And my name is Wacko. And uh, I might point sometime tonight and almost poke this man's eye out. You but so far, he survived. So far. I was talking to Rocky about it. Like, man, one of these days, you're really going to poke my eye out and shit. And then you guys can see a patch on my motherfucking eye. And I'm, this fool right here. and I'm gonna walk around with a necklace with Wacko's eye on it right there. Seriously, chilling. Man, for sure. <laughs> Check this out, man. We got uh, Curtis King, Noah James, Anna Cron, Oh Blimey, man. We got a real good show tonight. Yeah. Um, we got uh, the pizza man in the mix right now. I'm telling you. He's gonna take over for uh, Zion for a little bit. Till Just he don't gets turn here. around, bro, because we don't want to see the crack, man. You know what I'm saying? Say no to crack. Say no to crack. This guy was fucking riding a bike. This guy was riding a bike, everybody. <laughs> a fucking fixie bike. Okay, mind you. And me and Rocky were fucking following this whole crew of fixie riders. Whole crew of fixie riders. And right in the back is this fucker with a crack just right there, dude. You see just crack of ass fucking tailing behind like about a mile away and then disappeared. Everybody else had 86 shirts on their back. <laughs> he had an 86 tramp stamp right yeah, above his crack. He was was like, he's representing real hard. Yeah. And everybody was like, hey, where's Josh at? And we were like, I don't know. His girl had to go pick him up and then... They just lifted him and threw him on the back of the bed of the truck and shit and drove him back over here and everything like that. <laughs> hey, funny. It's a good thing Josh knows us or he might beast up on us and throw us Seriously, through a window or something. Man. Seriously. Hey, but ch check this out, man. <laughs> See? See, he's ready, dog, and he just <laughs> woke up, too. Hey, check this out. Um, also, the 86 website should be up sometime yeah, yeah we're gonna be working hopefully on that this by week. this weekend yeah this week we're gonna get that up man so that way you get your chance to go ahead for all you cats out there that are far away or just too fucking lazy to get your ass over here you guys can go ahead and order online man some shirts and stuff and there's some new uh, new shirts and new designs coming through too so well a lot dope. of the stuff that they get here is exclusive too so yeah like you said if they're just too lazy or they live far they can actually order it online mostly lazy though like who, who like mistaken you. and you know yeah, priceless yeah, yeah. oh this is priceless right here priceless Shout Check out that to Snipes, out, man. man. Yeah, Shout what up, Snipes. Snipes? That's how we do it. That's right here at 86 Clothing in Covina, 130 yeah. Shoppers Lane. Yeah. How was your weekend, bro? Uh, Other than Friday. I know Friday was popping off. Friday right? was jumping off, and then I spent the whole rest of the weekend in bed, man. I, I was a little under the know. weather, yeah, but I, I'm good now, dog. I'm ready to do well, this, bro, man. man, you got to watch out with those chicks you're macking oh. on, You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on. Wow, you know? dog. <laughs> Shouts out to that chick that was sick that night, man. I'm just, yeah. I'm just kidding. Just you're kidding, guys. This was. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> you remember what she looked like? Because sometimes you and Bud Light, bro. I'm Actually, I didn't remember. I don't remember nothing for the last two days, dog. I've been this sleeping, This is the only motherfucker I know gets faded off Bud Light and shit, man. <laughs> hey, Wacko, he's he's not ashamed to drink it, though. That's for sure. I'm not ashamed, man. Yeah, I'm that's ashamed. what it is. When I need a fucking, you know, piss out a lot of shit and everything like that, I just drink that Bud Light. You know Shouts what I mean? out to Jack, his homeboy. Oh, God, I love Jack. Yeah, Shout out to is. Jackie, man. I had to pound a bottle of Jack, actually, man, in honor of a friend of mine who passed away just recently. Lost the battle of the cancer, man. So, Anthony, Anthony Madrid, rest in peace rest to in you, peace. sir. Rest in peace. And in, uh, uh, condolences man to, to the, your the fam, kids bam. and everything like that man yeah that's pretty hey, crazy hey, hey what else did you do you just did some footage Woo! yesterday too Dude, right man we're my boy rocks over here you know what i'm saying kind of set up hey look at this guy right here hi hey zion just hey, woke know, up yeah you know what i'm saying it's like interrupting the <laughs> classroom and shit. what up glider <laughs> no but uh we were over there at the paul mitchell man school and stuff like that they had a, a, a dope ass fashion show that was going down over at, at uh, club 10 or what is it oc right Let's just say OC. We'll say OC because it's like in the board. That spot everything. did look dope, though. I see Woo! the post you, you put up on the Facebook. Posts, man, that shit was hard, man. That shit was amazing. Man, it was cool. It was really awesome, man. Roxy went ahead and uh, he had he had his little model rolling through. Chosh, man. Shout, Shout out, to, out Chosh, to Chacho, man. The milk man. Yeah, dog. Seriously, he's the milk man. So. Yeah, but, but he had him looking real GQ'd up, man. Yeah, Rocky's yeah. Uh, it, looking it, up the haircut. It was, it was funny, though, because the whole, the whole theme was Dr. Seuss. And like, you see all these characters, people doing crazy shit with the hair, and then here comes Chach, just all GQ'd out and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's all Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, Chach. Dr. <laughs> Seuss, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss. 
but it was dope though man he did it he he pimped it and everything like that and all that shit so it was he, cool he should have just wore the the dr seuss hat and the gloves and that was I it i told him huh remember we were telling him he should just put like makeup you know and everything like that on his face <laughs> and stuff but thing one obviously. and thing two yeah but that video is coming out you know shout out to all everybody at the paul mitchell man it was really cool it was really awesome different man really interesting very, hey very you know what zion's here we'll give him a chance to get ready you want to shoot that uh corrupt footage or yeah. what do you want to do we, man? yeah we might that. as well i don't see why not we got this corrupt footage this is where we were at friday man all the way live with corrupt at the terrace in pasadena Ooh. check this out we'll be right back with dj zion this is mix. an exciting show Decide. the twilight edition yeah day after Ooh. paid dues <laughs> Yo, what's good? It's Bell the Wonder at the B Side Shop. Tune in every Monday from 9 to 11 p.m. Bsideshow.net. 626 in the house. What up? Hi. Hey. Oh, wait, 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 real quick. Let's do this, man, before before we get our boy Anacron on here. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into a commercial. I wanted to go ahead and uh, just just not too long ago, did I did some. Uh, oh, as, shit. As, as, what's the matter? <laughs> as everybody knows I, I do a lot of photography and video work and stuff like that i get a lot of companies that hire me for stuff so one of those companies went ahead and hired me so uh, sonic zero right here man for all you for all you herbal people out there this is a cool little product this is an over over the counter product they went ahead and gave me a couple samples and stuff like that so knowing that my friend right here is a pothead i figure why not to go ahead and hook Who's this guy talking up some about? stuff you man <laughs> you can play music if you want yeah, we can have some Everyone's all looking, or something. Like, huh? Yeah. I know. <laughs> so check this out, man. Everybody in the whole room went, Who's, how's he know about me, man? What's up? Uh, what, what, what camera are we on right now so that way we can kind of show something? Huh? The front one? Oh, okay, cool. So as you can see right here, man, this stuff right here, it looks just like kind of like oregano, but it's not, man. But uh, here, go ahead. Check that out. Smell it, too, man, if you want. Anyways, uh, this is like an over-the-counter product thing. A lot of oh these uh, man, companies are going to be hiring me. A lot of shit these looks like, crazy. marijuana companies. I would sprinkle this in my menu, though, maybe. Uh, that's about well, it. no, that one's yours right there, bro. Oh, okay. So oh. you go ahead and smoke l that. L lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> well, basically what it is is that you can you can get this shit like over-the-counter, dude. You know what I'm saying? And and, and um, it's legal, I guess. And it gives you the same effect as marijuana. Well, I'm not sure about it. No. The jury's out on that. But we'll get back to yeah. if it's true. We're gonna make a commercial. Well, we had a, we had Chach went ahead and he smoked some of it. He says he he was stoned for like about like uh, Chach 40 was minutes. Chach was real happy because he had just got a dope haircut from Rocky. That's why. So check this out, man. We're gonna get into a quick commercial. Come yes, right sir. back with Anacron. Check it out. Woo. What's up, y'all? It's Medusa. Yes, LA's underground most wanted. Where am I? You know, I grew up with vinyl. There's the A side, and then there's the B side. I spun the B side, and I'm at the B side show. Whew, isn't that ironic? I want you to come on in, feel yourself, sit on down, check us out, and make sure you always spin the B side. Oh yeah, we're back right here with our first guest, man. To the left, I mean to the right of you guys. I think that was on. not on. Right here, here you go. It's his first time. <laughs> I've never touched the mic ever in my life. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know you have to turn these things on. So yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's really tricky, though, but, you know, hey. Who we got in the building, man? Let them know. What's cracking, y'all? This is Anacron, straight from the city of Los Angeles, hey. putting it down worldwide for the West Coast and for my extended family out there in Chicago, the homies all day. You know? Yeah, man. And, and, and for those that might not know, Worldwide has a real meaning. Uh, give them a little background on, on some of the stuff you did, LA Breaker wise, all that. Let them know a little bit of what's up, dog. So, right, right, right. So, uh, you know, basically, as you said, Worldwide does have a meaning. Um, I was traveling the world and representing the city of Los Angeles way back in the 90s. Um, uh, my, my, my life in hip hop basically started um, in, in Lemur Park and in the south side of LA. Uh, I, get, I got started really at, at The Good Life uh, back in the day. I was more of a parking lot and uh, audience MC at the time. I was a little too nervous to get on stage back then, but I was there every Thursday night, you know what I'm saying? Gradu Holding down the parking lot, though. Holding down yeah, the parking yeah. lot. But all day, you know, Somebody's all day I was out in the it. parking lot battling and rhyming and, and breaking too, you know what I'm saying? With all the old school homies, of course, LAB, but also, um, uh, down to Earth, which was a big crew back then that I that I rolled with, and a few other fools, you know what I'm saying. But uh, graduated to Blowed as well, like with the rest of the team, and uh, and and started getting on the mic over there more. And, and by that time, I was already putting out a couple little things. I had a couple videos out at the time, released my first single. 
um, a little bit after that, mid 90s on vinyl, and, and then released an album on cassette. Soon after that, I was already, you know, traveling around the world doing my thing. Did you get to do CDs? I did do you, CDs. You said vinyls. Then you said you went yeah, to cassettes. Yeah, vinyl, then you went to CDs. CDs. Yeah, Are you exactly. MP3s <laughs> uh, MP3s now? No, MP3s now. MP3s MP3s now. No MP3s. What's next? Who knows? It's the new thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a mini disc too. Me, oh, you even got I, touch I, mini I, I fucked with mini disc. A lot of people don't know about mini discs. Mini disc, man. Man, mini I remember disc those too, man. It came yeah. and went. MP3 killed it, but I actually, yeah, those honestly, I gotta say, I loved mini disc it was like all the best things about a cassette and all the best things about a cd Compact wrapped up into one, one. yeah it was wow. awesome i remember those ones. mini disc was awesome we're, we're gonna start a campaign to get the mini discs back bring, bring the mini back. disc back <laughs> for real i'm with it huh. let's do it like, let's you do a save crazy. the mini disc concert uh. I'm gonna invite Quincy Jones and shit. <laughs> there it is, there, man. Go ahead. Hey, tell him to come through right. the B side while you're yeah, at it. That's right. Man. What a cute little interview. Influential. influential. Might as well, dog. Uh. I, I'm sorry. It's the first influential music guy I could think of. Yeah. Hey, hey uh, great one too. Yeah, that. Oh, <laughs> great one at that. Yeah. Um, speaking of, you know, all the places you've traveled. What were some of the events you did and some of the places you've seen when you, you know, during that time when you were all over, dog? Man, I mean, because I, I I just need to live vicariously through you. Right, right. I've never been nowhere, dog. Well, so. see, the, the <laughs> thing is, man, the thing is that I like I do so many things that I've traveled around the world for so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm basically a universal b-boy. I break, I rhyme, I produce, I DJ, uh, I write, graph, and I've been traveling, doing all of the above since the '90s. You know, gigging uh, and just going for the love of it. Also, um, basically, man. Uh, <laughs> Hip hop, bro. Man, it's it, yeah. Just you know, seeing seeing things, especially since I've been doing it for so long and going to so many places for so long. It's interesting to not only see places, especially outside of the United States, but even just around the states and everything, and see not only different. Uh, regions and areas that are doing different things than what i know and what i came up in but also to see it change over the years drastically everywhere you know and it's changed drastically everywhere in different ways you know from from you know one one side of the fence you got things going from a very underground to like a more commercial and mainstream uh like here in the u.s i feel like u.s is de definitely taking that turn where like even the underground has this like mainstream and commercial feel to it nowadays you know what i'm saying right right whereas like overseas and like outside of the country a lot of the places that i've been ha have tended to to gravitate more towards becoming more underground and more independent and and you know less likely to 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 do things just to get paid and, and you know what i'm saying i mean the, the heart's got to be part of it all the time man all, i mean all, all the these time. people man if they don't know by now though they, they probably already quit man right. none, none of the people yeah, in this room true. i'm talking about you know yes. what i'm saying especially exactly not in this room yeah, man. you know what i'm hey, saying geez, none hey, of the heavy grinders. hey, hey spe speaking of that though how you've seen things kind of change and, and and different things like that how does it feel too when when you know people like malathion and them reach back to you and, and want you to be part of these you know battles and stuff they're doing though i mean actually that feels really really good i got to give a shout out to malathion who invited me out to the king of the dot to judge that which is where i met you guys that night um but uh I, I really actually really appreciate it man genuinely when younger cats like malathion will you know look in and and approach me like yo og you know what i'm saying you've been around i would like you to do this thing that's that really is an honor man i really feel blessed and honored to be uh you know looked at like that uh with a lot of guys and i know i know like uh in, in, a, in a case like mine um all the things I ever did, I was never, I was never want to pursue the fame. I was always just kind of pursuing the craft and pursuing the art of it. And so I never really reached out to try to get to the top of the mountain and you know what I'm saying, all that stuff and get in the camera and get in the lights. That was never my thing. It was always my thing to perfect what I do and to get better at what I do and figure out how to, how to evolve as an artist. So I know a lot of cats have not heard of me. A lot of cats don't know me, you know what I'm saying? So when somebody that does know how, who I am kind of just presents me to other people in that way, I'm kind of like, man, I really appreciate that. I really do, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all for the same reason for uh, hey. having, me on, having me on, you know what We got to do it, man. We're trying to, we're trying to be uh, the hip hop network right here that everybody checks out, you know That's what I'm saying? That's what we need. He's just being humble. We're trying to be famous up in this shit. <laughs> I see you got the lights. What up, yo? You know what I mean? Come on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, hell no. Yeah, we on that humble vibe too, dog. And uh, speaking of them battles too, man. Oh, oh, oh blimey, man. She's going to hit us with some, some acoustic today in a while. But yeah. she's also a beast in them battles, man. Right. We're going to touch on that in a little while too. But um, first, let, let's get into this uh, video of yours. And we're going to come right back with you. Uh, we actually got the one, This Is Me. Um, okay, okay. You want to... 
lead into this This one, is no? me was a single that I released last year. It was actually released um, as part of um, the Fusico Fusicology's annual uh, What is Good Music uh, compilation. And basically, the owner of Fusicology approached me, and we spoke for a little bit about doing some stuff. Um, and she had actually just wanted any song. Uh, but me being the artist that I am, being a musician, I hate recycling stuff that's already been done. So I created a song specifically for that compilation. That was the end result. Um, it, you know, the song got such a good response, and we pulled in some serious sponsors and, and support, and did the video. Yeah, Real tight. Shit, Check man. this out, man. Anacron, right here, B side show. What's going on, y'all? This is Master Ace. Brooklyn, New York City. EMC is my crew. My new album is called The Falling Season. Produced by the one and only Kick Beats of Los Angeles, California. That's right. Make sure you pick that up and support that. And always tune in to bsideshow.net for the real hip-hop. Yes. We're back. Do I, do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you good, you good. All right, cool. He's eating pizza on the side, man. We we, we get quick breaks around here. We get here, quick man. breaks around here, man. Drax slaves. Drax, us yeah, Drax works us too hard over How here. Do you, why do you think <laughs> us two are so fucking skinny, dude? Yeah. We don't get to eat. <laughs> We're we too busy to, on a fucking move. Man. We have you know to know fit our meals in every once in a while. All right. Well, I, I got a very important question that we need to ask here. I think it's really serious and stuff like that. My, my question is, do you think that in the new Twilight that's coming out? Bella, like, what do you think about like the whole thing as far as how she <laughs> looks and stuff like that? I mean, it's kind of crazy though. She looks a little more evil and a little more twisted, and okay, you know, it's gonna change so, the whole game. The thing is, man. Typically, I try to stay away from topics like this because they're so <laughs> sensitive. There's of such a sensitive it is a nature. Very sensitive, <laughs> fucking. A topic. lot of people get offended by things. You know, what that I'm saying? is true. Uh -huh. that I'm is not true. the best motherfucker when it comes to holding my tongue and not saying things that you know could really hurt somebody's feelings preach it brother so i'm just gonna have to really decline to comment on that right really? now i really just gotta, i respect that though you right? know i just had it to throw that out there you, you know you know plus he knows that uh what's her real name whatever her real name she's in the chat room right the girl <laughs> yeah the girl <laughs> you girl that plays bella whoever the girl you that are. plays bella is in the chat room that just shows no, you don't even know kidding. what the fuck's yeah, going on I, 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 I don't give a shit about like the she, twilight man she's like, i know <laughs> I, I know <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, blimey knows, man. Uh, we'll, we'll ask you. Watch. We'll ask her a question. Yeah. So she's just going to go off and carry a conversation and stuff. Hey, just hey, don't get too emotional, though, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, hey dog. I was going to ask, uh, representing, like you said, all aspects of hip hop, you know, from graph to b boy to, to, to rapping, everything. And even, you make beats, too, right? Also make beats. Okay. And, and I actually, I grew up, I mean, I, I grew up as a jazz musician, man. So I play a gang of instruments. I play like Ooh. eight instruments. And I've been composing and writing music also since I was hella young. And that's something I do that's a lot dope. of right now. I actually do a lot of, surprisingly, and, and you know, despite everything that I pursue uh, with hip hop, I actually do a lot of work within the music industry um, of songwriting and stuff like that that a lot of cats really don't know about but are, are you able to speak on it because we like exclusive shit here man on the a, a lot side, of it yeah. not so much oh okay uh, but just know you heard whatever it know. was here first just <laughs> know. The a brother does Jeez. have bills and i you know yeah, yeah, yeah i hear you that. i hear you hey hey um but uh, on that note with all that you know being well-rounded in the hip-hop game um is there any artists that you look at that do a lot of different things that you kind of think like man they're really doing some things right now i think honestly as far as right now current or it doesn't have to be just current but someone you might you know kind of look to i mean all, all the artists i really have idolized um are all older cats um and 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 the cats that i always looked up to were guys that not surprisingly were very versatile and that's yeah. really the thing that i liked most about them mm -hmm. so specifically roy ayers is like top dog to me serge gainsburg is right behind him french dude um, I was, of course, I really like Miles and Coltrane just being a jazz musician and prominently a saxophonist. Um, Coltrane was just like one of the dude dudes to me. When you guys want to just vibe out, just, you know, Google that and listen to some of that real quick. Really look up Roy he, Ayers. If you don't know Roy right Ayers, now. you need to look up Roy Ayers for real. A-Y-E-R-S. Ayers. Roy Ayers. <laughs> look it up. You need to know it. Treat like, yourself. Seriously, like you need to know this shit. Like really. See, um, man, we like to teach it on the B-side, man. All, all that, all that. <laughs> for, for reals, though. So, yeah, you know, um, I mean, 
those those are like the main dudes, man. But I mean, coming up as an MC, like my my favorite MCs uh, have always been AC Alone, who is OG to me, um, Corrupt, and uh, Mac Dre. Those are like the three top dogs to Mac me Dre. as far as yeah, RIP. Um, as far as as MCs go. Um, and then you know, as far as like other stuff, producers, breakers, I got I got favorites in every in every genre and in every field. But but a lot of the cats I like, you know, I like them all for different reasons. Um, and I think that as a musician, um, it definitely kind of makes me look at a lot of music a different way. Uh, in the sense of like, I can't always look at stuff and just be like, do I like it? I always have to analyze it. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of stuff that I listen to, I'll be like, well, this thing of it is dope. You know what I'm saying? But you won't see me playing it in the car or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I hear so you. it's different. It's like that. Yeah, that's right. Because you've been around and you've seen it all before, for sure. Uh, Music-wise, um, anything you want? I know we're gonna get into a, a performance right now, but uh, music-wise, man, what you got? Let them know. Uh, the most, the most recent thing that I dropped was uh, the Facelift Three, which is the third part of an annual remix album series. I am a DJ, so I will never call a rap project a mixtape. It's not a mixtape. It's a remix album. Let's just keep that in mind, all right? So y'all know. So it's a remix album series that I drop annually called The Facelift. Uh, this is the third one. I just dropped it in January. Um, it's it's a free download, uh, 10 tracks. You could get it on my Bandcamp. You could get it via my website, which is anacronmusic.com. Hit that up and you'll find it. Um, there's a couple of uh, original tracks on there, one of which is uh, a track that I produced featuring Kazal of a group called the Zizix, which is Mellow Man Ace and his hey, son Kazal. They're coming through in a couple weeks, oh, dog. Those are the homies, no man. bullshit, dog, in oh, like that's three family. weeks. That's family. We, we got a track on there um, called Music History. Um, and it's you know it's a bananas track man I, I'm still trying to figure out what I can do with that because it's super sample heavy uh, which is why I put it on the uh, facelift because pretty much what I do with facelift is I take tracks that are songs that have been released and completely redo them um, and some of them I'll redo the production and add rhyming some of them I'll sing on them. some of them I'll add other MC some of them I do a gang of like live music playing on top of the existing track you know i just basically work with a lot of them so if you pick up any of those facelift one through three you'll see what i'm talking about but that one is basically a reworking of this old house track red alert do you remember that song it was everywhere um red alert, yeah don't, don't. you know what i'm talking about the dj knows what i'm talking about the dj yeah. better pull that he knows, out he knows he knows so it's a redo of that song i basically flipped it into a hip-hop track put up uh, an awesome singer named summer rona who's worked with the jacksons and a gang of other popular uh like soul singers she's uh singing the hook on that song like i said Kazal's on it and it's it's a dope track man like really because because all he, he's dope too man i, I just awesome. got to kick that it with a genius, uh, man. uh mellow and uh kid frost on this uh, this was a few weeks ago uh me and dj zion hosted the show the week uh, a couple weeks before the corrupt show right and uh yeah mellow was out there all is actually he's he's one of the he's one of a handful of very young artists that i like to call the westeration and I call them the Westeration because I feel like these young artists are the folks that are really bringing back the true grit and feel of West Coast Underground. And that includes Kazal. That includes this other cat, Zach Seacoff. I don't know if you heard of him. He's a producer and he raps. Um, and then uh, this cat thus far who's an MC. Uh, his producer, Victor Stone. It's a gang of fools, man, that are just young cats that are coming up that are just ridiculous. Ridiculous. And uh, he just told me off air they'll be on the show uh, pretty soon, by the way. Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Putting them on the spot. Shit, hey, check this out, man. On the show? Yeah, dog. They'll be up soon, man. We're trying to get everybody in here, man. Oh, you know what something, I mean? but something I do want to tell you about, okay. though. Actually, I, and I always forget to mention this, so I have to do it. I wore the short shirt actually to remind myself today to talk about this. So this shirt says Unfamous. Unfamous is essentially uh, a mindset that I believe in that I've turned into uh, an independent, a strictly independent and unsigned artist showcase. And essentially what I do at Unfamous, it's a monthly event and we feature a bunch of MCs, bands of all genres. Uh, we feature a ton of visual artists, painters that paint live at the event, dance crews and chefs. And basically all together just have this big event where we just feature all this amazing artistry together at once and celebrate just art 
That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's called unfamous because it's not that about fame. Amazing. It's not about money. It's about delivering good art and good performance and good visuals and everything to the folks that come out to witness. Hey, it. hey where can we find out about yeah. that? Like, where's the updates unfamous on that? Unfamous on my on my website, anacronmusic.com. Click the unfamous logo at the bottom of the page, and that'll take you right to it. And you could also look it up on Facebook. There's Facebook group and events. When's the, and all ne that when's the next stuff. one? The next one is mid April. We mid -April? don't have a set set date yet. Let but us it's know, dude. We really want to go of there. Of course, I'm definitely. Maybe we can let do like a know. recap thing to it or something like that, and just somehow be involved course, with that. That's yeah, course, we, we like definitely. stuff like that, especially when you could vibe out and see all the different types of art of hip hop. And exactly, you could get and the munchies and grub. That's awesome. Exactly, man. exactly. Shit your grub on. He got me like food. That's what he got me at. Oh yeah, the Munchies are provided by this awesome crew called Tasty Crates, which is helmed by a couple of chefs that uh, work at some real posh spots around L.A. And they step out of their busy kitchen chefing schedules to come to our event and throw down some cheap versions of like some raw ass shit that you'll get at a restaurant you gotta make reservations for a month in advance and, like in other words yeah. it's better than a happy meal man exactly. that's for sure man yeah exactly check this out man we're gonna get into this video right here the throwback video of the week um and then we're gonna come right back anacron all the way live a b-side show Yo, this is cool, 187. You know, I'm chilling at. I'm in my town, West Covina, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to put y'all up on everything because I always do that because that's how the black Superman, the black godfather do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling at the B-Side shop on the B-Side show. What y'all know about that? Rest in peace to my man KMG and Easy e Tupac. I love y'all. Boom. You know how we do it. Ah! Check this out. We back all the way live. We're going to get into this performance right here by the homie Anacron. Check it out. Go ahead, Zion. Kick that in. So this is a little dedication to people that like to have a good time. It's one of those uh, legendary ballads uh, that I've been a fan of for many years. and I hope that you like it, too. Produced by Con V out of Denmark. Get stoked. Get, 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 get stoked. Ah, uh, let's get it started. You finna get retarded, cause it's hotter than retarded. You acting uneasy like you started low key. See, come on, ride the train, cause the party been departed. Everybody's getting down. White, black, yellow, brown. Jump around and touch the ground. Don't be quiet, riot sound. We're on a mission. Everybody listening to go of our fruition. For many dancing figures grind together, causing friction, and we come apart and feel the vibe evolving like vision. Open up your mind and vibe. Lost the five, tracks in five. Inhibition to the side. Find your tribe. Get stoked out of control with no restraint deep inside your soul. Freedom awaits, just let it go as the bee provokes. Climb out of your skin and get hit stoked. Ah, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Ah, ah, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. If you at home, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Pound the keyboard, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Ha! Uh, let's get it going. The feel is feeling flowing. Blowing rebel got you throwing. Everything is racing like you're moving in slow motion because you should have been back. Last dragon got you glowing. Wave your arms. Do your dance. Wind your hips. Shake your pants. Pop, lock, break, dance. Move your body. Take a chance. That's how you do it. Sweat is dripping as your body melts into a fluid. Sensibilities true. Communication is fluent between your mind and your body until your souls can grow it. Open up your mind. Five. Laws defied. Tracks in five. Inhibition to the side. Find your trust. Get stoked out of control with no restraint deep inside your soul. Freedom away hates. Just let it go as the bee provokes. Climb out of your skin and get hit stoked. Ha! Get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Uh, uh, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Ha, come on, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Ah, ha, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked, get stoked. Out of control, with no restraint, deep inside your soul. 
freedom awaits just let it go as the bee provokes climb out of your skin and get hit stoked you know what i'm talking about that's right man give some noise right here b-side yeah. get stoked with us that's thank what's you, up, sir. man. Thank you for coming through, man. Uh, for real. You, brother. Thank you we for appreciate it. Uh, once again, let them know the contacts where they could get at you and find out about the events and all that. Anacronmusic.com. A N A C R O N. Music.com. That's my name. That's where I'm at. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Unfamous Anacron. You can tweet at me, tell me how much you hate my music and all that shit. <laughs> That's right. Hey, he had energy, man. Speaking on that. You just talked yes. about it. Mellow Man Ace featuring Medusa. This is energy Woo! right here. B-Side Show. Yes. Check it out. We got old Blimey coming up next. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Vintage 1989. Y'all know what it is. I represent that old school ruthless. Easy E, rest in peace. This the legendary cocaine, known as the most featured artist in the game. King of G Funk, you heard? Kicking it, ride on B side. We stay on point like Stacy Adams. Where's? We're back live again with uh, while well, Wacko eats pizza. That's how we do it. Every third segment, he'll be eating something. He might have a drumstick on the next one. Hey, check this out. Who we got in the building right here? Go ahead, let them know. What's good? It's your girl, oh, blimey. Hey, thank you for coming through, homegirl. Yeah. And what we, were, what we were talking about originally is like, um, before I knew, you know, before I asked you to bring the guitar and all that stuff, I mean, I just knew first that you, that, that you it's from some battles straight spitting so i mean man some horrible stuff like if i <laughs> if i was a girl I, I would be mad like i would go home ashamed but uh, yeah. <laughs> no but i'm just saying you got bars and that was one of the first things that, that i noticed um where i started researching you was your battles wait, how'd wait. you get did you start with battles or we already making music and then the battles came along you know it's hella funny because that movie uh eight mile it came okay. out it <laughs> came out when i was in middle school and uh kids used to just start battling on the schoolyard and i had been writing poetry and i had been rhyming here and there and these kids started battling on the schoolyard and i walked up one day and i was like you know i think i could do that and i just stepped in and just freestyled this whole battle i beat that boy i beat the boy the next day i beat the boy the next week and i just kept going and taking all these cats for their lunch money and all the kids at school i went to like an inner city school in the middle of san francisco all the kids at school were like what a white girl could just bust like that and just shit on people and, and so it and she's stuck. not kidding when she says like some of the battle she, she's really battling fools like it don't matter whoever wants to battle they're getting served right i try whoever wants to step up whoever wants to step up i mean i'm just we're gonna get an expedition going on between these two and a few so it should be interesting. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> if just, it's a compliment uh, battle i'm gonna be like Aww. a cra crash it's test uh, crash test Aww. dummy <laughs> Hey, he, do, he does like a little let the You're so twilight. cute, make him want to throw rice, and that tattoo on your arm is looking so nice. Yeah, yeah. He's lucky, so dice. Like see, yeah. see now, <laughs> see now, I'd be, I'd be extra <laughs> happy. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> extra happy right now, shit. but but I know um, sh she don't like my type. Now. <laughs> uh. Right, right, oh blimey, man. Yeah, yeah, I said, I said it up real, real yeah. proud. Yeah, right there. Said, don't do that, man. I just Beat want him, him to invite. No, no. Shit, I just want him to invite me home so I can meet his lady. Yeah, see, Ooh. hey, see, <laughs> we, we were talking about it. Her video, hey. talk about hey, it. Yo, hey, man, I, I saw one of your, your your videos and stuff like that, and I was like, damn, this girl's getting more play than my ass and shit, dude. <laughs> End of the video, she fucking out of a bed with like two chicks on the side of her and everything yeah, like that. that. I'm like, woo. And I was like, I, I want to ball like, like her. I'm yeah, balling yeah, like that. You know You gotta be a sweetheart. It's all. That's yeah. all there is to it. That right. is true. You though, gotta man. be a sweetheart. Yeah. Well, I could tell by your um, the acoustics, you got some some stuff aimed towards the ladies and stuff too, right? You know, yeah. some kind of lover type. You know. I mean, it's funny because like battle rap, that's not me at all. Like, I, I'm not an angry person. I'm not a negative person. I don't fight people. I don't ever carry guns or weapons or even rap about them. 
So, you know, it's funny to do battling, do that in that arena, and then step out and have a project that's like me and my heart and my soul and really play guitar and sing and get all sensitive and emotional and fuck it. You know, like, and, that's and me. And I like the fact that, but well, not only does she play the guitar and sing it, but the fact that um, you got the bars to go with it. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? man. I couldn't, I couldn't not rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's first and foremost. My first love is rapping. So I couldn't just play the guitar and just sing. I don't sing. I rap, so that's See. it. Hey, um, also um, the new video because we're gonna get into that before we come back with this interview. Um, the new video that we were speaking on. Um, you want to go ahead and elaborate on that, and the, also the director. I know you work with closely, right? Yeah, yeah. One of my one of my real close friends growing up, Kalipa Fai. He uh, he be, he just started making movies. He bought a camera and started directing movies, and he's doing brilliant things right now. And it's so cool to watch your team that you grew up with really build and and mesh together to come out with these products that are like mind-blowing so my boy Kalipa Fai directed this video it's called these dreams and it's just about living these dreams which is what my life has been for the last couple of years you know just really being happy with what I got shout out to you mom yeah that's right yeah she even shouts her out too man that's what's up we're gonna yeah. get in this video and come right back with old blimey check it out man my Peace mom's in show. this video that's why I shouted you out mom's in this she Yo. might even be in the chat room too man <laughs> where <laughs> you at mom <laughs> mama old blimey what hey up yo, mama blimey where you at <laughs> Let's go. These dream. Th uh, the title again is these is dreams. These dreams these is what dreams. it's called, and, and and this is oh blimey on the hook too. Yeah. Check it. Yo yo, Afro, all flows reach out. AFRO, we was up here in B side show. That's what we was doing. We was kicking it. I was just here for the three hundredth episode. Did the thing, you know, just kicking with some good folk. You know what I mean? So just tune in every single Monday. It's about right. Bop, fro. Really real. B side, B side. Uh, we should do a battle with somebody at another show. Yeah, dog. B side, B side. There we go. There it is. You know, we'll get all the artists on the show to do like a verse or something. That'll be real Sick. dope. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have a. Do you know how many people we had on this show? But we'll make the song change beats every like five minutes because we got so many, man. Just 120 something people. Yeah. Something like that, but it's all good. You know, we should do some. I got a light bulb popping up again. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Uh oh. I, I don't want to elaborate. I know Blimey's with it because yeah. she, she got bars too, man. And so it's I, it's I got an important down. question to ask of you, man. So. What do you think about this new Twilight movie that's going to be coming <laughs> out, man? What is, man. It, what is it? It's going to be insane. It's you know, crazy. I, we already touched on the romantic subject. You know I'm going to go see that shit like like three times, right? Yeah, oh, One sure. weekend, right? Oh, you want to go see the tw new Twilight movie, baby girl? Uh, you are you, uh, you, are you team Bella, though, or what's hey, up yo, with Bella, you? Yo, Bella is bad. Yeah. I'll, tell, uh, I'll tell somebody, like, hey, yo, Bella is bad. Like, straight up. Bella is bad. She's kind of creepy, yeah. but... I'd be like, girl, get drunk off my love, hella gone. Have you fallen hard like Bella Swan? Yo, I hit it good, make you take a nap. Cause baby, she a beast like Jacob Black. Then wake up, wake up. You know you smell the coffee vapor. I've been on my grind just like a coffee maker fighting for the game. But no, I'm not a hockey player. They just act like copy paper Xerox when they jack me swagger. Look, I'll have you singing to a new new tune have you fall in love under a new moon and if the movie's over we ain't ending too soon <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> i don't even know get, get your popcorn <laughs> motherfuckers shit that's right man bars right here oh blind me <laughs> you see yeah, yo bella man you want some real shit right here you know what i'm saying if you want what some up, of bella? that emo shit then stick with the uh, hey hey dude. no you, let me ask you one question though because we got my man curtis king in the building and he just happens to have a thing for the uh the cougar persuasion right you know what i'm saying i call them coogies uh, 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 uh. yeah so on the coogie in situation man who's the hottest cougar out there man because i know let me see what curtis king has to say too but what do you think the hottest oh, cougar man, right now oh sofia vergara for a day. Oh, oh, okay. Well, is that a good choice? <laughs> Curtis King <laughs> so gave the thumbs up. Curtis King gave the co the co sign on Sophia Vergara. Oh my God. He's yeah. a, he's hey, no, that fool didn't give a thumbs up. He got his comb. He gave a combs up. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, <laughs> he's a cougar connoisseur, man. For real. <laughs> the king has spoken. Hey, yo, if you really peep it though, I mean Manny. I mean uh, he. 
kind of looks like me and her mixed together, and then I don't even know what oh happens. So <laughs> there you go. There you, you got you got to cap on yourself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it. <laughs> there it is, right there. I do it to myself all the time, man. Hey, check this yeah. out. What do you do to yourself, Rabbit? Oh, <laughs> hey. Matter of fact, it's almost that time. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be back in three minutes, maybe even four. Hey, check this out. <laughs> what what oh. project do you have out there, though? We wanted to talk about, you know, you got a mixtape yeah. out there and stuff. Um, um, you know, I just I'm dropped not. my debut mixtape that I've been working on forever. Um, it's been like two years, and it's all it's all beats, you know, original beats, um, leased or made by my friends or leased from, you know, real producers so it's an album but i'm giving it for free and i'm putting it up on dat piff so it's you know it's the mixtape but really a lot of hard work and effort went into that album produced by gambit at Wildeberg studios or engineered you know and it's it's a dope mixtape so go to datpiff.com and get mvp season the mixtape yeah mvp season mvp season. um speaking of that though that you have a video for that but also you're about to do a new ac acoustic version of that, right? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize. See, I thought it was dope already, but you put that together for the show. Yeah, I mean, I was just sitting down like at 11 o'clock this morning playing my guitar, and I was like, you know, I can't play something that's already on the internet. There's already videos of all the covers and shit. I got to come with something original for the B-side show. That's right. Ooh, that's nice. right. So this is going to be the first ever I like acoustic, to hear that. acoustic version of MVP season. Oh, yeah. yeah Ro Rocky awesome. stuck around and everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, can I ask a question, though? Because how, how long, uh, first of all, real quick, how long you been over here on the L.A. side? Uh, yeah. I moved here in September, so that's like, what, almost six months now? Six, uh -huh. seven months now? What, what brought you over here, though, man? Um, I was working in the movie industry. Um, I was working for Sony Pictures. I was working on a B-Boy movie um, that's coming out this year called Planet B-Boy featuring Chris Brown. I got the opportunity to be like right thrown in the middle of it. And um, it's been nothing but incredible opportunity after opportunity since that. So um, that was real dope. I'm focusing on music for a few months before I get back into the movies. So that's wow. real dope, man. Everybody's real well-rounded. Um, I was going to ask too, because I know, you know, knowing people like Lush One and, and, and different cats from out yeah. there. Um, it's still a, a real good vibe i mean from here to there i mean is oh, there any yeah. major differences you've noticed coming I over mean, here <laughs> between the bay area and la the only thing that really irks my nerve is the traffic oh, that's yeah it. That's speak it. on it but oh, it gives me shit. so much fucking time to write my music i'm sitting in the car i have nothing else to do except write bars hey, like that's real talk uh, on my way to the nine to five is where i wrote like half of my shit right uh, because i'm stuck in that shit for like an hour nothing but instrumentals bumping so i guess la traffic's good for that only but right we're over here i've been over here for a long time i'm still tired of it though yeah i lose <laughs> i lose many hours in a day in traffic but shit it's all it's productive it's productive frisco's dope man i remember we went over to uh we perform over at the independent yeah yeah, yeah 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 cool spot cool venue man it was really dope man it was awesome with jedi mind tricks and shit like that man we did some shit though with fizz and stuff and the boys armada that was pretty cool man all I the like venues Frisco. in Frisco cool. are so intimate. You're really connecting with your audience. You know, all the venues are just very, like, family. You know, you got that family it's, vibe when you walk a, in there. It's, it's a like different vibe. Like, like the, the crowd and stuff, the way they, they, they received, like, that information you're kind of giving them when you're on stage and stuff like a lot of them really pay attention they're really getting attacked with the, the whole those those type of places though is what makes you kind of connect to any crowd though when you right, could actually right. talk to whoever's right there you know what i yeah. mean shake a hand the only problem we had over there man is we were trying to find that little hill like that uh the one that curves the curves that goes down man you know lombard talking? street I, yeah, is that what it's called? The crookedest street in the world? Yeah. Lombard. I couldn't find that shit. We couldn't even that find that shit. That shit's long, but there's one block of it that's short and that's curved, and it's up by Coit Tower. It's on a. I'll show you when you go to the bay next time. Oh, hell that, yeah. That's one of Still Wacko's there. next movies. He's yeah, going to film it. You the crookedest know, street in the world yeah. with Wacko. Jeez. They did a commercial with that, with the car or something. Like that. You might tripping or what? Yeah. Oh. Well, there it is. Oh, okay. We're here. <laughs> we're going to fix that right now. Hey, oh, check this out, man. Any shout outs you want to make and all that before? Because we're going to come back with this uh, acoustic set right Yo, now. Yo, shout out to Gambit, Wildeberg Studios. Those are my brothers for life. Shout out to my bro, Kalipa, holding it down. DJ Left Lane was good. Shout out to my mom. I, I hope you're watching this because you what love up, me, mom? right? Yo, shout out to uh, all the beautiful ladies out there. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Shout out. That's it. 
<laughs> so Shout out B Side Show for having me out, y'all. Oh, hey, man. Thank you, man. Thank hey, you. thank you. Every <laughs> once in a while, that feels good. You know what I mean? Check this out, man. We're going to get into this video. Whatever Drac chooses, come right back. Acoustic set. Yeah. Woo. That's gangster. Yeah. When you got an acoustic yeah. guitar. Yeah. Soul King, also known as SK from the Liquid Crew. On B Side Show, motherfucker. On B Side Show.net. Represent real hip hop for real people. Get it. You feel me? Yo, check this out, man. First time ever right here. B Side Acoustic Version Acoustic Set by the homegirl. Oh, blimey. Check this out. MVP. If you see me crying in a little while, don't worry. Check uh -huh. it out. Hey, yo, you guys just heard this song, but uh, I'm going to give you the acoustic version for the first time ever. So, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, they heard I spit nice, my saliva polite. If swag had an airline, I would pilot the flight. Uh, my batting average at the highest of heights, so I'm hitting when they pitching that vagina tonight. What? I be on that heart shit, blind me on that soul shit. Came to the right place if you looking for the dopest. White girl flow to make your nose drip. Came to the right place if you was looking for the dope shit. Yeah, I'm only 22 years old. I like my women hot and my beer cold. Hands on her cups, I be like, cheers, bro. No beard here, but the bar. You should fear those Yes, I am a San Francisco champion Where the bridge and tunnel crowds Come to get they dancing in If the game is calling Best believe I'm gonna answer it Never begging for attention Baby, I command this shit I'm headed for the top And I'm not gonna lose Man, all these other bitches Got a lot to prove I'm about to take over I'll be handling shit I'm winning every day Like it's a championship mm. It's MVP season I got every reason To play how I Play. It's every PC season. I got every reason to play how I play. I'm winning all day. I'm married to the music. We meant to be. It's destiny. I'm headed to the top. Check out my trajectory. Cooking all this swag. Got the right recipe. The rawest chick rapper. Objectively, I roll up like a paraplegic And when I start flowing, they can barely believe it I don't need no chain that is carrying Jesus I spit crazy, therapy needed I'm the Blake Griffin, the flame spitting and dame getting My game kicking and main written, sustained rhythm The Derrick Rose are wearing clothes I stay winning, not on that Meg Whitman But brunette bombshell showing love They trying to lock me down before I'm blowing up I got the world in my mittens like Golden Glove And ask me who could top me shoulder shrug i'm headed for the top i'm not gonna lose all these other bitches got a lot to prove i'm about to take over i'll be handling shit i'm winning every day like it's a championship mm. it's mvp season i got every reason to play how i play Yeah, winning all day, winning all day. I'm wit, wit, I'm winning all day. If you winning all day, where's my women all say? They, they, they winning all day. They headed for the top and they not gonna lose. Man, all these other dudes got a lot to prove. We about to take over, we'll be handling shit. We winning every day like it's a championship, cause it's MVP season. I got every reason to play how I play. I'm winning all day. Thank you guys. It's MVP. Yeah, make some noise, yeah. man. That's so blimey. It's MVP yes, season indeed. in the bitch. B side show. We out here. Woo. That was a good fucking slot right there, man. Thank you for doing that. I know I put you on the spot by the. I'm like, can you bring your guitar? I'm like, fuck it, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> one more time. One more time. Let them know where they could get at you and check your music out and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, at O Blimey the Kid. That's O H B L I M E Y the Kid. Um, Facebook.com slash O Blimey. And get my uh, mixtape off of that piff. MVP season, O Blimey.
Yeah, yeah. Is, man. that's there what it is. is. And be my friend in real life, cause I'm a nice ass person, yo. Yeah, <laughs> she got a good heart too, man. That's right. Thank you for coming through once again. We got Curtis King and Noah James coming up next, man. This is the yeah. B side. Ask somebody. B side. They're the biggest Twilight fans ever. <laughs> Yo, what up? You already know what it is. It's high tone. TFC, top of the food chain. I'm right here at B-Side in Covina, California. You know, bsideshow.net. Every Monday, 9 to 11. It's the only thing you gotta hear, only thing you gotta listen to, only thing you gotta tune into. Monday, 9 to 11, bsideshow.net. Hey, we're back. Daisy in the building. Chris hey. Kane in the building. Hey. Wacko no, in the building. Noah hey. James. Rabbit in the building. No, Noah James, man. Rock. He decided to Rock. stand up because he wanted to vibe Rock. out with us right now. Word. And we got pizza. Yep. Courtesy of Josh. Pizza. He came through. Shout man. out to Josh, man. Big homie, man. <laughs> yeah. <Got> the pizza. <laughs> the, the big homie, man. Hey. Show check, dedicated to him. Check this out, man. You guys got big things coming up, man. I mean, Noah. You, you did it you, you did it you know last yeah. year and you're about to yeah. do it again it's, it's some small little show that's coming up not yeah too it's crazy. some little thing that you know you know it happens no seven paid dues man which camera it, it happens camera. every once in a while you know the front one right there bro oh word all right yeah april 7th paid dues man last year i performed this year i'm hosting with mark love and this motherfucker is performing curtis motherfucking Woo! king Hey, before we get Mr. Simbad. Before we get any further, man, I want to yeah. say if I'm mistake me if I'm wrong, but we were like one of the first kind of shows, the first thing to start your campaign, you know, just kind of get you moving, right? You were the first the first week that I started my campaign, I came right here. Hell yeah. E I told him even if it wasn't true, I'm glad you played it no, off. It's, it's no, I'm just, yeah. I'm just for line chess, but you know if what you makes go check, good. If you check Curtis King for paydose.com and you go to like the first page, you're gonna see the B side show. Because they supported me. They were the oh. first ones to believe in what was going on. And that was a reality. A actually, Ooh. we have proof, though. We have it documented. We have the uh, the yes. poster that he signed. That is true. He signed it did in I, a, did in I a date marker. It too? I dated it. Um, that uh, when you started your campaign. I don't know uh, if you put no, the date on no it. Date on I it put though. it on now because the same handwriting. So okay, nobody okay. ever difference. <laughs> I was oh, going to yeah. say, because we have that. We, that's uh, official right that there. Official, that, hey, I'll put a date on now. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, man. How, how's the campaign been, dog? It's been a long grind, but what it is. I mean, the campaign is, uh, is finally over. Uh, I mean, the campaign to get on there, I should say, is over. Um, the campaign never stops. I think it, it changed the way that that I promote myself. It changed the way that I present everything. So 97 days later, after every day, get you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, getting in the streets and putting posters up and going hand to hand like I'm on pay dues. I don't think it's even synced in yet. I was talking to Noah. I was like, like he did it last year. He set the standard for me and I saw all the work that had to go into it. Oh, I talked to 99 people in the process. Yeah. It's not that. It's 99 videos that he filmed and edited. The time, like, yo, fuck that. Like, nah. you, you by yourself did it? Yeah. You could edit video? Yeah. That's what we do. We That's why we DIY. We do Damn, everything. DIY. There you go. All day. Wacko the shit. I learned from him. <laughs> DJ Donovan, DJ Gabriel, a lot of OGs, man. All your young kids, learn how to shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> right? I promise That's you, true. you will That's be word. successful. Look at me. Hey, that, that's no. the realest shit I heard all day, dog. For real, though. That's <laughs> Shut for the real. fuck up and listen. You might learn something, man. Hey, go ahead, Curtis, oh, man. man. I, I, I was going to say something, but you kind of said that. <laughs> I was trying to I had something I wanted to say after that, but yeah, shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> In case you forgot what he said right now, you can earn, you can learn more. I, and I told I was talking to Noah about this. I was like, before I even found out the official a word about paid dues, I didn't know. People thought I knew like a month in advance, like I'm just playing this up. I didn't know anything. Nothing. They didn't hit me up. There was no DMs from pay dues like, hey, just play it cool for the next few weeks. You're going to be on it. No. I mean, literally a couple of days before they made the announcement, they told me. So what I told him is like, well, I told everybody, I said, no matter if I got on there or not, like, I wanted that to be an example of hard work paying off regardless. That is true though. Like no like right. I'm gonna be real. Like I didn't know who you were right. only until your your name was attached to pay dues. Right. So I have homies that rap and do all that and they would repost everything you reposted. That's so dope. And I'm like, Damn, who's this guy? Curtis King, who right. is it? And I was like, 
fuck it. If they're reposting it, I'm gonna repost it. I didn't even know you. Right. That's I was love. Just like, All right. That's whatever. I was like, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I'm retweeting it. That's what I'm saying. It, hey, like, but ain't hey, that what you were? Just, that's what you were talking about, right? Yeah. It changed your the way whether you got on or not. It changed the way from now on that you promote Everything. yourself. Because I learned like. Okay, the, the thing that used to piss me off is to make me mad. Okay, I'll be honest. When people say, man, you the most slept on MC, producer, yada, yada, yada. I used to get mad. Like, what you mean slept on? Like, I'm out here. <laughs> like, I'm out here. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I had to get mad at myself because it's nobody's fault but myself if I'm exactly. slept on. Exactly, exactly. You know, so so yeah, now, now I look at it like, that's why I say the hard work is a win-win because so many opportunities presented itself because people are not only seeing me talk about the things that i've done already now they're seeing it right in front of their eyes like this guy really goes hard for what he wants and there was so many benefits the roxy show came out of that and people just the, the awareness was raised around my music and people started asking the question like what dudes have you paid so i got to showcase all of those things you see all of the videos you see all of the things that we've been able to do and all the doors even Noah's opened up for me as well so you want to talk a little bit about that my thing is as an artist you're not slapped on. You just got to promote your shit and be consistent doing the same fucking thing over and over. Like, I do something called a common ground. It's gotten pretty good because I'm consistent with it. And I'm not changing it. Not, and, and you got to go out there and get it. You know what I mean? You got you to gotta go out there and get it. I, like, it's about gravitation. People gravitate to you, but you still got to go out there. Like, I learned from these cats again that you got to go out to the media in your local they don't know nothing about you these are like some 67 year old cats that don't really give a fuck but if you go out there and get it and i got the i'm the first rapper in, in ie to be on ie weekly that's that's, yeah, tight. that's right that's tight right there like and like I, and that was on your uh, on your grind uh from last really, year right yeah. for for the pay yeah, dues. the grind just i remember kept that on just and kept on grinding, and man. And you can't miss that one, man, because his face is fucking right on the whole fucking page thing. And you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a dope photo, dude. Hey, but I want, what I want to say, though, uh, me personally, though, man, because, like, I mean, I've known Noah for a fucking long ass time. My mom fucking beat him sandwiches when he comes over and <laughs> shit, dude. Like, that's how fucking tight this fool is with me and shit. And then Curtis, I met mean, Curtis along the way, you know, these, right. these uh, through Noah. But what I want to say as a, the old, the dirty uncle, man, the old dirty uncle, man, seeing you guys when you guys came into this whole thing, man, I remember when we put the shows on and then you guys are performing, you know, right, and right, it was first right. getting going and stuff. Like, to see from where you started to what you're doing now, I pay homage to you and, and I congratulate you personally Thank because... You. That is really awesome what you're doing. It really shows that a lot of hard work, and it took a while too, man. It took a while, yeah, a lot of trials and did. errors and stuff it like did. that, you know? I've seen you guys develop as artists, especially Noah and stuff, and and, and where you're at now and, and, and your confidence and what you guys are doing is right. on such a bigger, or uh, it's, it's, a, it's a higher higher uh, uh, level of what you were before, and it's still keep going. I, huh. <laughs> I learned how to smile, man. Like really. There you go, man. I learned how to smile, then after that it was like, all right, just keep going and keep going and smile, keep going. Think about the beautiful things and boom, man. It's like my granny understands this. I just seen her today and she like, I miss you. And I feel like crying like a little baby. Yeah. I haven't seen her like in two months, but she understand it. And my grandpa wearing my merch. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I, I, this is like our, our formula is family. And I, same thing, I learned from my OGs. I, tonight is about OGs. If you got real good OGs, please listen to them. They're very smart, and they they can they can get you somewhere just by listening to them. You will learn a lot. It's and true, that's man. It, man. It's true. Yeah, that, that that's the thing I think a lot, the, the generation lacks sometimes too. You know, speaking from our age group down, is that people forget about the pioneers. They just don't acknowledge it because they figure because it was before they were born, they don't have to seek into it. So they see a new artist come up and right. do something similar to somebody that came up that's one of our OGs, and they don't pay homage. Exactly, and like that man. shit, like 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 gets me, you know, because yeah, you, <laughs> He's you, like, you, you still fucked up. That's what Murray said. Yeah. Murray said he said you know that's why artists have to be they can't be Hollywood no more. You have to be you have to be humble and you have to talk to people because these fans will fuck you up. Yeah, like, yeah, seriously, man. It's that Simple independent grind now. Yeah, like, oh, you, you don't want to shake my right. hand. You don't want to shake my hand, Curtis. Oh come on. 
You Rip sell, you, cut you, your flats off all. You're selling CDs out the trunk. They'll stuff <laughs> you in that motherfucker and take your CDs and because, with them. Shit. Because like what I said, I, I did a venting post not too long ago, man. Right. And it's just pretty much saying what we're talking about here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, because some models and shit were just, you know, like, look, models, like I'll say it again. Models, you're going to get all old and ugly soon and your shit's already gone. Okay. Well, I, well, not. I mean, if they become well, a cougar, it's a different situation. It, you got a good fifty but, years. Hey, and that's it. If you're a cougar, then that that's dope. <laughs> that means you were playing your cards right. You got but lucky. You got, you got lucky. lucky. You got lucky, sweetie. Or you're just fifty, sixty, and look like a fucking Barbie doll, kind of like Cher. Le- you got lucky. You got, you got, got a lot of money it. for that shit. Not a cougar. You uh. a Billy Goat then. And, it, <laughs> <laughs> and then you artists out there, man. You know, there's a lot of artists that are not as as humble as you guys are. That, like anybody true. really in this room. Period. As human beings. Period, man. Hu- human beings. Period. You know, a lot of people get cocky with what they're doing. They think they're doing this and that, but it takes a lot of struggle. It's a lot of hard work and stuff like that. And remember, man, you gotta have a passion. You gotta love what you're doing in life. It could be, yeah. and you'd be a trash man if you love doing that shit and it makes you happy, man. Then fuck it. That's what it, it's about, man. You and know what I'm saying? Noah said it best in, in terms of my particular situation. A lot of people don't know, and I'm gonna start revealing more of that stuff in in my music as the new music is coming. But like the last few years have been tough. To, for me, it's like it, like it almost sometimes when I think about me being on paid dues, it almost breaks me down because it's like I know how far at the bottom I've been where I've lost things. People look at the that's how my day is going video and think like that's good acting. Your car got repoed in the video. And, you know, did that really happen? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's why it's not good acting because <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm living that like Crazy. to know where it's going from. And I, and I think that life sometimes will kick you se- kick you down so much that you have a, a, a choice of whether or not to hold on to. What if you got an ego, life is going to kick that out of your system. If you got, you know, any kind of whatever kind of reservations, life is going to put you in a position where you can make a better decision. So for me, I feel like it just it, it, it broke me down so much that now it's like I have to be a, a person of the people. Not to say I wasn't before, but now seeing that the people that are what got me on paid dues, I got to do this music for a cause. It that can't just be this brink to put music out and hope people like no. what I'm doing. Like I, I tell no, I say. What is a person? I saw a video with his girls hearing for the first time. Twenty nine years old, and there's a video of her hearing sound for the first time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I saw right, that. Right, I saw right. that. Dog. Yeah. The first thing that comes to my mind is what type of music does she listen to? What would what would be the first thing that she listens to that come in her head? What about somebody in a hospital bed that has a, a life threatening ailment? What are they gonna listen to? Will it be Little John? No offense to what he's doing, because there's a there's a okay. place and time for what he's doing. But I'm saying the type of music that really sticks to the bone. The reason why like artists like Johnny Cash can be around for decades, there's a reason. Yeah. It sticks to the bone, yeah. you know. So I think that Noah's already mastered that, in my opinion. And I'm just trying to follow in the footsteps and bring my my interpretation of my soul and just put it out there. So I think that that's missing. It's missing. You gotta be honest. You gotta be able to listen to your music, even doing a verse. And, and feel like damn this is about to break me down because it's that real when we do music you know what i mean that is so true and um there's there's performers out there even now that were given opportunities like you worked for yours and you know the struggle you know how hard it is to be where you're at and then there's people that have been given it and don't know where it's at and they still talk shit and they act like they are the shit when really they're garbage and you'll never hear us down no other artists you'll never hear us you know have that kind of situation no beef and all that life is too short we got Time's going to tell. Like, I don't care. It it's how you get it. It's just time going to tell where you're going to be at the end. So get it how you live it. And life is gonna do a whole lot more than I can do. I'll tell you that right uh, now. Hey man, this is mean. this is a lot. This is some <laughs> some real B side talk shit. right here, man. Hey, let, let's get into this video though. Yes. Dude's paid this video. Um, you yeah. wrote towards the the whole the whole thing, right? Right, right. right. Talk, right. About, talk right. about this. You want you, you want an exclusive? Uh, nobody knows the story of how that video was such. The timing was on point because I released that like damn near ten minutes after they made the announcement. Mm-hmm. I had the, I had this song already, and I was talking to Jinx. And I want to just release a song that's called Dues Pay. Regardless of if I'm on there or not, I wanted a song that just show people what I can do, what I've been through, what the campaign has done to me. And he was like, hold off on it. Just hold off on it. You never know. When the announcement comes, drop that. I went and did a video a couple of days after I figured it out. After they told me, Emerge gave me the call. I made a video. Dues paid is just like, it's, it's, it's a celebration of thing. And it's just like, it's... You know, it's 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 feel good music. You know that music I'm talking about that sticks to the bone, or I hope it sticks to your bone. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Peep we're, it out, man. Check it out. We're man. happy to have this show that we had tonight because we're hip hop fans first. Check yes, this sir. out, man. Curtis King right here, dues paid right here on the B side. And go, yo. It's your homeboy Supernatural. When I'm not smashing MCs, I'm 
hanging out on the B side, B side radio. You understand where the home of real hip hop is. Make sure y'all support my new album coming out soon called The Frequency. If you want to follow me, you can check me out on Instagram at MC Supernatural or on Twitter at The Real Supernat. And until then, hold it down and keep real hip hop alive. If you're not the solution, then you must be the problem. Let's do it. We're back live, bsideshow.net. Yes. That was Deuce Paid right there by Curtis King, man. And they have been for a long time from these guys, actually. That's right, man. Been paying dues, man. Um, matter of fact, we talked about it before, but for those that don't know that are in the chat room, these guys rocked a in store event that we had right here at 86 Clothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Part no. of the, the we'll Humble, the the humble Tour, right? Talk about yeah. that real quick, Noah. Oh yeah, that commercial. We thought we was we was on. When you see that commercial, y'all, that's it. Hey, we on, nigga. We got commercial for a show. <laughs> oh Which, yeah, that's right, huh? Hey, we remember. <laughs> hey man, it was just after pay dues. I was telling Kurt like I feel, man. I just need to stack shows, just stack like stack our plate like so fucking hard. Shows are important, especially like, now in this industry, man. You know, yeah. they're really important now. So we just took the Tech Nine route. So a lot of shows that we did before, we went to the same spots again, and the crowd was bigger. So we're going to have to do it again, but now we can reach farther out of state and, and like, do the same thing again, hit the same spots. And now you guys got more ammunition. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? man. You so know what? So it, I was telling him, like, we had ammo, but if, if we couldn't pull the trigger. <laughs> like, that trigger was so, like, oh, fuck, right it was stuck on safety. It was just <laughs> now. It's like now is is is, pop 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 boom. <laughs> you all fall down. That's right. Shout out to Tech kid. Nine, man. That's that's like met the dude once, never talked, but we just go on YouTube and watch his interviews and learn so much. I'm telling you, real shit. Like you will learn a lot. Just watch some interviews, man. You just will, researching. Period. Yeah, man. man. Really. Yeah. He, he he's uh yeah uh matter of fact i was actually going by a couple of his things today on on youtube and um you know just for those that don't know like independently what this dude has done like that some of these dudes that are signed to major major deals never get to the 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 wealth and stuff that this guy got all independent and, oh. and and he don't have to be one of them guys taking a piss where somebody's trying to film it. You know what I'm saying? He's still enough underground where he can go on his life, but he got he's paid, dog. Uh, my, my favorite, yeah, my favorite Tech Nine, my favorite Tech Nine quote. He said, "Tech Nine never had to go mainstream. Mainstream went Tech Nine. Yeah, now you got yeah. Lil Wayne putting them on a song with Andre 3000. That's on the Carter. Like that's that's as big as it get on that level. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh -huh. He's rapping on that you know and he's did it all independent he didn't have to you know compromise his art and he still sells out ridiculous shows because he has a dope live show once again mm -hmm. you know and you t and you even look at interviews like that's the thing I, we were talking about earlier off camera is that you see interviews with a lot of a lot of folks and they're just not artists you know i don't care what like what walk of life you got if you're working at microsoft the person that's the head of there, you know, Bill Gates or whatever, if he's talking to you and you have no interpersonal skills, he's not going to remember you from this dude over here. Exactly. You got to just treat people like people and be cool. Right. Smoke some weed. He said smoke <laughs> some weed. Smoke some weed. If you yeah. partake. I don't know about the, the yeah. you know, they, you know, yeah. you know, but I, you know, I don't want to talk about that. It might be a sponsor. Hey. <laughs> hey but you, you, you know what's up in there? Peace pipe. Hey, you know one thing though that that uh, I gotta you know give props to the man and and a lot of people don't do that man is is not only you're paying respects to all the people who help you out and support like that but you know what I I I, I really loved and I even reposted this motherfucking shit and I even made my my uh, brought my opinion to it was that how you fucking paid total respect to the one and only the beautiful your mother man dude. Yeah, Showing mom. mad love to her. You even did a little video thing with her, right. the interview, and what she was talking about you. Right. Even opened a whole new uh, uh, door for me, have understanding how you are as a person because right. she she got a little more in depth about who you are, how you yeah. were when you were young and stuff like that. I think That's that was the, really dope. I think a lot of folks are afraid in general to release that because I mean she got pictures of me as a kid that I just can't make no excuse for. You know, I mean you. Everybody has them, you know. But I mean, I think when certain things happen like that is humanizing. You know, my mom's like. First of all, like like personality, anything that you see that's like like 
you consider golden to me is from her like she honestly is my big insp inspiration i feel like 97 days ain't nothing she did for me you know 27 years that i can never pay back but i'm gonna try my best but i had her do as part of one of the campaign videos i had her talk about the dues that she paid and then I flipped it and said, my mother for paid dues. It's not just me anymore. It's not me getting on there. It's my 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 mother. You know, the people who actually put sacrifices in. It's my brother Noah. It's my brother Jinx. These people that that go out their way on their own journey to open up doors for other people. And look at look at what's happening. Yeah, you know, I'm living proof dope. of that. That's real talk right there. Real talk. Inspiration, man. Hey, shout out to my mom too, man. We're on the subject. <laughs> and uh, my mom, my mom too. And Oblimey, we shouted out Oblimey's yeah. mom earlier, man. Yeah. Shout out to Oblimey. You know what? Shout out to everyone's mom <laughs> yeah. in this room. It's and, and, day and we right mean now. it in a good way, man. That's what's up. Yeah, definitely in a good way. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I mean, I, I was going to say something about Cougars, but I'll leave yeah, that alone. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> We're going to that on the next ah, segment. Cougars. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, uh, do you got a um you already got a set i know you probably had it worked out for a while you know what i'm saying i'm going with the same set i started with but i know yeah. I, I know we're gonna hear sinbad on that you're gonna hear sinbad I even, went, I even went through the trouble of making lyric on screen videos for youtube i said this is not just my 15 minutes of of, of paid this is everybody's 15 minutes of paid we should be there and be able to to i i should be able to put the mic out and we share that moment. That's not just my moment. You know what I mean? Like, it's only 15 minutes. That's all I need. You <laughs> gave me three minutes and a bag of Cheetos to see that I did something. You, you should be able those. to reach out the mic and everybody be like, da, 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 You know da, what I mean? Yeah. Come on now. Come That's on That's what now. it is. So, bro. I mean, this this is what we love to do. And, 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 and shout out to MERS and Gorilla Union for opening up opportunity to, like, like we're true up and comers. In every sense of the word, we're DIY. We do our own videos. We do our own cover art. We do our own album art. We do our own promotion. When you talk to people on Twitter, we have no webmaster. That is us talking to yeah. you. That's and what we, hard work looks like. You right know what here. I mean? So I you mean, we love to do it, so it don't feel like hard work. You know, I look at, I look at folks going to to to, to their nine to fives every day. That shit That's is hard sure work. That's hard work. You know what I mean? That's so like you don't want to be there. Like you're serving <laughs> hamburgers and shit. So. I, I worked at Quiznos <laughs> for four years. I you relate. <laughs> I relate. I smell quiz nose. I get angry. Hey, hey, but what's <laughs> most important? I bet when you worked there, you were the best fucking quiz no maker. You know what I mean? Whatever you do, I mean, do it the well, best. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody cut your bottle like me, is what I'm saying. Well, we ain't going to talk about that. I can make a sandwich. Shout out to my girl. I'm pretty sure, you know, she know about my sandwich making. But yeah, yeah, quiz nose for four years, never again. I'm for sure. I'm, I know who to go to now to get, you know, some I sandwiches got, made. What you want? Turkey Ranch and Swiss? Uh, bacon? <laughs> So you know, hey, uh, instead of hey, instead of Puma <laughs> Cubs and Chicken Cougars, Mesquite. Turkey Rancher so, Swiss, woo! Turkey Rancher Swiss. So uh, that's we that's keep it off the record. I might use that's that. That's why, you know, uh, That's why I don't see your face no more, motherfucker. You're over here getting sandwiches made by this fool. Man, gourmet, dude. My mom is like heartbroken by right now and shit, dude. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get it. Can I still get a plate? I mean, <laughs> you know what? Can I? <laughs> 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 oh, see, uh, no, I ain't mad. Ain't He's gonna go no. eat at your pad too. No, I was like, no. Hey, but it's true though. Have anybody broke my taco record? <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. Man, we had a party. You've been at our parties, man. We do parties in my pad. We haven't done in a while though. But one time, motherfucker came over. We had a taco. It was my uncle. We called him the taco guy. Gave him a couple beers, and he says, "I'll make anything. Don't worry about it." This guy was making tacos and tacos, and he was like, "Man, we're running out of meat." And we're like, "What's going on?" Because fucking no over there. <laughs> Fucking shit up. Just fucking grubbing and grubbing hey, and grubbing, dude. Life, man. <laughs> Taco, what was it like? Twenty something. Like twenty something. So he was twenty about something. Twenty something. Look, still was hungry. <laughs> he was. <laughs> That's not, that, Nothing. I shut down five bus phase in my lifetime. Hey, they're, they're pretty good sized tacos, man, and and fucking pat padded up and stuff like that. No, they were like uh the basic uh. You know, not that the small, hey, small ones are like. This just in. Guy. This just the in. Corn, corn. Noah's sponsored by the taco truck for paid dues. That's what it is. Man. <laughs> Noah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to lose, man. I was 609 pounds three years ago. I'm like 390 now. Yep. Trying to get to 320. Yeah, I can't be going at 55, man. Yeah. I, <laughs> like I'm, I had a hard life from being born to now. I think, <laughs> I think when yeah. I'm 55, I'm gonna dress like Rick Ross all day, <laughs> all day. 
Chess <laughs> opens, opens wins, no draws. Jeez. Just like, yeah. I'm telling you, dude. He's yeah. going to wear velour sweats oh, with man. no draws, dog. That's it. On a, on a hot, sweaty day. <laughs> I'm just going to have my legs tatted wearing <laughs> short sweats all day just to show my yeah. leg muscles. I'm going to have, sh have Jesus, my calf man. muscle have a lady on. I'm going to wiggle it. It'll be crazy. And hey, you know what you need to incorporate with your shows, man? Instead of just pulling your shirt off, you just got to cut a slit and do like a whole you know shit and just rip that shit off. I, I haven't took my shirt off, man. Last time I did. Really? I haven't, when the last time I took my shirt off? Like, oh, when I did Hockey Mass Haitian. I have a new song called Hockey Mass Haitian. That was ridiculous. It was fun. So mosh pit and shit was fun. Yeah, I'm yeah. good. But after that, man, I haven't really paid no more, dues. No it's more like that sexiness out, huh? is crazy. I'm going to tell you right now. Every time I bring it out, it's like the ozone layer disappear a little more. <laughs> it's like more <laughs> de demons is on earth. It's like, man, let me put this back in before the hey, world ends. Hey, hey at this, year's, funny, at this year's paid dues, you should let them know you're in a different place and just show them one nipple, dog. Just, I, I one. Yeah, just man, give them one nipple and be hard. Hard. They're gonna be a soft nip. They gonna get a hard one. Wow. Hey, hey, check this out. <laughs> hey, hey, Noah, what video you want to get into, man? We got humble power or speak it, man. We're gonna nah, get into one of those. Oh man. man. We're gonna uh, show one of yours right now, man. Humble power. I was gonna say I got this little um freestyle thing on there, man. Y'all could have put oh. up if you want it. Oh can, man. Can do it live. <laughs> do it live. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, check this out. Oh, he's like, might as well. I, mean, well, I spit this Aki, man. Uh, can I do it without the mic? Do I need the mic? What? I need the mic. Hold it. Hold it. Sometimes I feel like I'm Tony Jaw, above the law. No unblock, no gun talk. I handle you brawl. Dismantle your jaw. Man, I'm claw that power bomb. Sharpshooter, torture rack, that Lex Luger. Tombstone, power drive. Now you paralyzed. I don't fuck with a nigga that bleed drama. The type of niggas that key Hondas beat their baby mama. Disloyal with no honor. That umbilical cord should have wrapped around your neck and you die, your weak mama. Scouts honor. I am a real monster. Real problem. Magic Johnson fucking up shit with no condom. Sick of the Pavo, y'all know I grind like a Carlo. Cadillac on floor flat, driving a bar stow. Listen, my mind is sick. And I am twisted. I'll fist a midget. And with that midget, I'll fish her missus. See, pain is passion when it's filled with ecstasy and madness. Uh, my mind is sick. And I am twisted. I will fist a midget. And with that midget, I'll fish her missus. See, pain is passion when it's filled with ecstasy and madness. I am Mr. Obese. Beast. No leash. Fight with bare hands, nigga. No peace. They call me Mr. Voorhees. They call me Mr. Voorhees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. <laughs> That's right, man. Hockey maskation right Jesus. here. Noah James, All man. you bitches better fucking run. <laughs> and that just happened. Hey, when you, <laughs> hey, good thing I didn't bring the dancing midgets in yeah, this yeah, show. I was just man. Gonna say, oh, man, that would have been all bad. Oh, they would have been just curled up in the ball over there and shit. You would have seen one midget dancing with a big fist in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's All that. He's Yo, like kebabs. Well, no, not like just kebabs. <laughs> oh, shit, son. Oh, man. Some Noah kebabs and shit. <laughs> Some Noah kebabs. Oh. Hey. <laughs> But yo, That's shit, all shit. Bad. Hey, yo, Drag, why don't you just go ahead and pick a, a, a Noah video when we come back? You guys can go ahead and bless us with a quick performance real quick, right? All day. All oh, day. hell all yeah. Day. We keep man. it raw on the B-side, man. Yes, Check sir. <laughs> B-side show. B-side, baby. Go ahead and drop that, Drag. Sick jacket from the sick-ass cycle realm. Shout out to the B-side show.net. What's good? I'm Noah James, representing Black Claw Music, Illinois Empire. Brick to your face, the common ground. Art bars in the sky coming soon. Check it out, blackclockmusic.com. Drop it, Zanya. Hey. Hey. Imagine this. From this rapid shit, you become so passionate. A bar get killed and give back life like he did Lazarus. The life on the first hand is glamorous. On the second hand, it's a cancer stick. I sit back and laugh at it. One is pouring in a blue cloud of four men. My art in my art corrects an arc. Then I split the sea like Moses' staff took a stab at it. Life is going to be tragic until you jumping out through traffic. My dreams I'm not far from. 
I fit like a glove in a girl I park under. Some days I wake up in love with that dark number. I stare through the hate with the sight of Scott Summer. So hey poser, don't approach a poacher. The energy you giving off might get you skinned alive, nigga. Word from Noah. I wanna love some days, some days, some days. Rapper shit, you know. Hey, dying, dying, nice lifestyle coming soon. I'm feeling good. I'm happy, man. I got some good news, but I can't share it till t- tomorrow. Shout out to Curtis King, man. Paid dues, all my family, man. Um. You can't miss an elephant in the room, bruh. I move mountains. I found a way how to get from here to the moon, bruh. The ass one, I'm gonna make it. I say soon, bruh. Some say sooner. I put my time in. I did my footwork of politics. Tie hands. Where I'm from, we don't try to rent. We become giants climbing to the highest of vibing where the air is thin. I'm not on yet. But I am in, I'm the Iron Man, saving Aaliyah from the plane she is flying in. I just need a DeLorean. It's sad to see a gorgeous story end when it did. My mission is to ride till the wheel fall off. And I don't need that missile, man. Until I don't need that syringe and insulin. Until I don't need this weed or bent from hand. I wanna, some days. Some days, hey. Some days, ah, uh, some days, you know. Go through them days. Some days, some days, some days, some days, ah, some days, ah. Uh, Black Cloud Music, I am Noah James, no H and Noah. Dying Nice's lifestyle coming soon. Art bars in the sky coming soon. Curtis King, a touch of a touch of phobia coming soon. 12 days on lean coming soon. 12 days on PCP coming soon. 12 days on KFC coming soon. NoahJames.com Shout out to Wacko Rabbit, everybody in here, man. Shout out to my granny, my grandpa. Shout out to Miss Lisa, aka Miss Joint Roller, aka she kick a hole in the moose. And um, I love life. So Curtis King, where you at, man? Yo, Kurt, the real blonde right here. This. I was born a blonde, nah, for real. I didn't make that up. Curtis King, Baby Sinbad, Jason Kidd, older, younger, little brother. Um, uh, Shamar Moore's uh, nephew. <laughs> Who else? Who else you think I look like? Type it in right now. Push one. I'm just playing. Go ahead. <laughs> so I got a thing for Cougars, and I made a song about it. You want to hear it? Here it goes. Huh? Okay, now. And it's still Team Cougars and Pumas. Hey. Hey. I got Pumas, Cubs, and Cougars You know how I maneuver If you follow me on Twitter Then this shit should not be new to ya Bitch, I don't mean you I mean them hoes with no computers So don't trip, just come close Let me unbutton your clothes Like a cheap code Watch me get in beast mode Stella need her groove back Well baby, I'm legal I can be your Winston You can be my Demi Moore You can be my science teacher We can study intercourse And of course I sign my name up on your board just let your pants drop and i can give your hand cock ha get it i break you down and keep you wet lay you out with a decent sweat make you smile and hold your breast and hit it till it's nothing left well i got pumas cubs and cougars what you know what you know i got pumas cubs and cougars what you know what you know i got pumas cubs and cougars don't even play me stupid can I get into some real shit? Can I vent part two? Because we all need times where we can vent and just say what's on our mind. And that's what I did. We on pay dues, Noah. That shit still ain't kicked in. 
Went through a lot and we there. Dudes were paid. Huh. Hear me out. Huh. This game will take the soul out of nigga. Way before the Lord take the soul out your figure. And I ain't talking about a saint turned sinner But lately all these losses I've been copping got me bitter I lost my grandpapa last year and I miss him He never got to see the job that limited my visits I should have called, damn it I should have called For all he knows I was a struggling musician I don't believe in superstitions or the tricks of a magician But when I'm making beats in solitude I hear a whisper The why? please don't take your time for granted Stop sweating the small things and make them easy to manage But see, sometimes I get panic attacks And I hyperventilate until I almost collapse I try to take a walk but then my thoughts go manic And don't tell me to smoke weed cause that increases the panic after his funeral, I listen to Currency, Sade, Jill Scott, and Kendrick Lamar. I even sent a text to Mr. Kendrick Lamar, and I thanked him for the music that he pinned from his heart. He said, sorry for your loss, but bro, keep strong. You got a heavenly advantage with your poppin' in the stars. And that shit fucked me up. Huh, huh, huh. I was a zombie for the following weeks. A workaholic roaming in the hallway of beats. Looking for love on a one-way street I thank God for anybody that gave me something to eat If it wasn't for my girlfriend, friends or my mama I'd be lost up in this world when the drama And I see y'all on my timeline talking about Obama Like if you was in the office you could solve every problem Occupying shit, y'all ain't occupying nada But them damn concords for your Facebook album When I wrote Sinbad, I was broke as no as Jason Mass Turned my insecurities to everybody's favorite laugh Ha! But the laughing stopped when a video dropped and I took a cheese it bath. <laughs> nah, nigga, don't ask me shit. Don't ask me to explain, cause you see you're black and white. They say you look like Yonkers. Man, y'all niggas bonkers. Or maybe you don't see the sacrifice. My vision goes blurry at the computer at night. But I type and I type till that shit looks right. Huh. You think my campaign is scream for attention? A dream to rock a stage where hip hop is one religion? A ploy just to annoy Merz Twitter for a mention? Whew. That nigga's tripping. Huh. This my destiny. This my calling. This my therapy like Grandpa here with me. I hope he's seeing me and smiling proudly. And playing dominoes with Brazil Allen. Huh. Curtis Kane. April 7th, Noah James, pay dues, dues pay. We always appreciate the B-Side show having us on here. This is family. Yeah, man. We do this shit. This is from the heart. Make some noise, B-Side. Yeah. Curtis King and Noah James, man. I'm always appreciating listening to your guys' tracks, man. This shit is straight from the heart, for reals. Most and we yeah. can tell. Pay dues coming up uh, the 7th. The 7th. The 7th. The 7th. You guys better center. make sure. Wait, I almost got him. Almost got him in the eye, dog. This guy's almost. always trying to poke my face. Almost shit. got him. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, but if you ain't got your paid dues tickets yet, here's another good reason to go get them. No doubt Before about you that, can't man. get them no more, that. man. Two good reasons. Noah James, Curtis King, they have man. They groove, groove tickets, right? Huh? Is this on groove tickets? Is that where this line is? Oh, ticket no, fly, ticket fly ticket now. Fly. Ticket fly now. Yeah. Be there early. I mean, I mean early. 1230-ish, 1. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm paying my dues still. So be there early. Got to show respect and some love for these cats, man. And we're sure. gonna hear da da da. Oh, you da, gonna hear da, that? Da. Yeah, man, that's the Pure shit ignorance. right there. Sinbad, man. Hey, let them know, man, where they could get at you guys. Get Yo. all the music before we get into Zion in the mix. Homie. Okay, I'm gonna look at you real serious and say this. Okay, Curtis King with two S's. You can find me on Black Planet. Um, you can find me on Friendster. Real shit. You can find me on SoundCloud. I mean, SoundClick. My bad. <laughs> That's new shit. Anyways, um, <laughs> nah, for real. You can find me on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook. Hit us up, man. You see, you like what's going on? I'ma always hit you back and say I much appreciate it because I do appreciate you. And know what's gonna hit you back? CurtisKing.com, BlackCloudMusic.com, um, Ratchet.com, RatchetsOnline.com, CougarsOnlineHuntingYoungerMen.com. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you somebody look it up. Right. I yeah. bet you they look it up. <laughs> hey, it's a new reality series coming, man. Seriously. But they'll talk about that next time they come through. VH1, man. I'm on there. <laughs> hey, check this out, man. We're going to get into Zion in the mix, man. Yeah. Thank you guys all for tuning in, everybody yes, in sir. the chat room. And thanks to all our guests, too, man. Curtis King, Noah James, Old Blimey, Anacron. Another great show. Shouts out to Drag. 
Daisy, Wacko, Rocky, man. What Great up, man? Ended like Zion. This, man. Hey, hey, hey. Smoke weed every day. Rest in peace, Nate Dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's tradition. We gotta do it. It's tradition. It's tradition. Oh, oh. hey, but on that note, rest in peace to Easy E, man. Seventeen years, I think, today, man, since his passing, man. Or Easy E, West e, Coast baby. legend, man. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Zion, man. Whatever you're gonna play, I think we're gonna get into a quick commercial and then come right back with Zion in the mix. Easy. <laughs> Yo, what up, world? It's Bahama Dia, the original international B girl, God's elected anointed queen of hip hop. You understand me? And you're checking out the B Side Show. Welcome back to Comic Strip Live, coming to from Fighter Town, USA. Now, here's one of your very own. He's a veteran of the United States Armed Forces, as well as comedy venues across the country. His career is bi coastal, besides being the host of Showtime at the Apollo. He also plays the gym teacher, Walter Oakes, on the hit comedy series, A Different World. He's got an upcoming HBO special entitled Brain Damage. Ladies and gentlemen, Sinbad. Rats, rats, bad. Yellow nigga. Light bright. Bow. I think I'm Sinbad. Gone and forgotten. Product of the 90s, that's when I was popping. Polka dot high top fade with the blind spot sitting mighty high like Marvin the Martian. I'm all that and a bag of chips. Yeah. I'm mother approved and she's a bad bitch. Wait, no need to get cash as clay cause I played over nigga and smashed your face. Huh. And you can be the next put potato head. I gotta try one on the war tour for potato wedges. Now wait a second, what may some better say? I'm one of the lightest in the Black Cloud team And I've been using Michael Jackson's skin tone cream I swear this was all a dream Now my name in magazines that I used to read And I ain't changing for shit so get used to me Nigga Slam Da 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 A da 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 And let the boys be boys My nigga Slam Da 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 A da 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 And let the I think I'm kid and play, the life of the party. My pops were strict, my DJ was Martin. Cock and I cross color brother, and my lover Cisha Campbell. You know, Gina for Martin. Kurt, hook me up a beat for a bargain. Motherfucker, free beat.